second sum exercise 1.3 write the values of f at minus 4 1 minus 2 7 and 0 if f of x f of x have totally 5 functions this first function second function third function fourth function and fifth function therefore f of x has totally 5 values but these five values I can use only such conditions such nothing but minus infinity less than x less than or equal to minus 3. I have previously teached you open interval and closed interval. This is called open interval. This is called closed interval. I have teached you one of the video session. So now I am going to see f of x belongs to minus x comma 4. When minus x comma 4 can be used, f of x is equal to minus x comma 4. When I can use use in this condition, this condition I can use in interval called minus infinity. I have told in previous thing, previous video session, infinity and minus infinity always comes in the open interval. This is less than or equal to minus 3. So, I can put close interval here. For this one, both are, see, both are less only. So, you are not equal to. So, I can use only the closed in open interval minus 3 comma minus 2. Here, minus 3 comes. But here, minus 3 does, doesn't comes. Minus 3 comma minus 2. For this one, this one is minus 2. We, we, we need to write in open cl closed interval because there is less than or equal to. But 1, I need to write, write in open interval. Next year, 1. 1, I can write in closed interval but 7 I need to write in open because less than 7 no I need to write in open interval so next otherwise how the otherwise I can write in 7 comma infinity 7 comma infinity using this I can easily solve the sums so what is the first question here minus 4 I need to find minus 4 where is minus 4 present here here my where is minus 4 present here or here or here first you need to check here minus infinity to minus 3 so minus 3 present here before between before value is nothing but minus 4 so minus 4 is present here so f of x is equal to minus x plus 4 i need minus 4 so put x is equal to minus 4 in place of x apply minus 4 therefore minus what is x here minus 4 plus 4 minus into minus plus 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 is 8 f of minus 4 value is nothing but 8 this is the first sum next step. second one is one we need to search where is one is present in this interval here one is present but it is an what is present here this is called open interval but one will be i can't able to take one so this is called closed interval here i can take one so f of x is nothing but so second sum f of x for one i need to choose x minus x square put i need to get value for 1 put x is equal to 1 in place of x apply 1 f of 1 is equal to 1 in place of x apply 1 1 the whole square therefore 1 minus 1 the whole square is 1 1 minus 1 is 0 f of 1 is nothing but 0 next value i need to search minus 2 search where minus 2 is present here minus 2 is present here also minus 2 is present as i told in previous this is called open interval this is called closed interval here only minus 2 is present so f of x is equal to x square minus x f of x is equal to x square minus x what value i need to find for minus 2 put x is equal to minus 2 so in place of x apply minus 2 f of minus 2 equal to in place of x minus 2 minus 2 the whole square next minus minus i need to apply minus 2 minus of minus 2 minus of minus 2 because minus 2 the whole square minus minus in place of x apply minus 2 minus 2 the whole square is 4 minus into minus plus here only 2 is present therefore 4 plus 2 is 6 f of minus 2 values is 6 so next one is 7 search for 7 where is 7 is present here also 7 present here also 7 present but this is called 
open interval this is called close interval so i want to use this function f of x is equal to 0 f of x is equal to 0 that's all but i need to find value for x is equal to 7 if i'm going to put value for f of 7 there is no x value apply so answer is 7 therefore f of 7 is equal to 0 this is called zero function whatever the value put answer is going to be zero the last value is zero where the zero is present the zero is present between minus 2 to 1 minus 2 to 1 here zero value is present here f of x is equal to x square minus x f of x is equal to x square minus x therefore put put x is equal to put x is equal to what value zero therefore f of zero is equal to zero square minus zero f of zero is equal to zero therefore we have found all the five subdivisions this is our required answer thank you